Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video on conditional statements, we're going to look at creating truth tables and tautologies. So first, let's just review what a conditional statement is. A conditional statement is of the form if, then. In symbols, we would say if, p, then, q, so it's p, arrow, q. And a truth table would look like this. So we might recall one of two ways that we can remember the truth value of a conditional. Either the conclusion is true, the conclusion is the second part of it, so this is the conclusion, this is the hypothesis, so either this is true, or the hypothesis, the first part, P, is false. So we call this the hypothesis, and Q is the conclusion in this example. And for a conditional statement to be true, either the hypothesis is false or the conclusion is true. So if we look at the first one here, the first line, we have a true implying a true. Yes, that is a true conditional statement. The second row, we have a true implying a false. Oops, nope, that is a false conditional. A false, doesn't matter what comes next. A false hypothesis will always lead to a true conditional statement. So it doesn't matter if Q is true or false. If the hypothesis is false, the conditional statement is true. So it would look like true, false, true, true. Okay, so we want to construct a truth table for each statement. So here we have a double conditional. Here's a conditional. So we remember we just talked about what makes a conditional statement true. A conditional statement is true when the hypothesis is false or when the conclusion is true, right? So that's what makes that true. Ooh, my true is scary there. Oh, well. This is a conjunction. Do you remember what makes a conjunction true? A conjunction is true only when both statements are true. So both true. Okay, so what do we need here? We have two simple statements, P and Q, so we know we need four rows for our truth table. How many columns do we need? Well, we need P and Q, so that's two. I'm going to keep track right here. So P and Q. I need a not P, so that's three. Then I need not P implying Q is four. I need P and Q is five. And then I need that whole conditional, the first thing leading to the second thing. So I need six columns. And here we go, six columns. Look how nicely that works out for me. So what did I say I needed? I needed not P. I need not P implying Q. I need P and Q. And then I'm going to put the whole thing together. So I have the first thing, not P leading to Q, implies P and Q. So our truth table would look like this with the headings. Now let's fill it in. So not P, remember what that is. That has the opposite truth value of P. So that would be false, false, true, true. Now not P implies Q. So this is the hypothesis here for this example. This is our hypothesis, or for this column that is. Q is our conclusion. So we have a false implying. That's going to be a true conditional statement. A false hypothesis is a true condi conditional statement. Oh, we have to look at this one. We have a true hypothesis and a true conclusion, so that's good, that's true. Here we have a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. The conditional statement is false. For the next column, we have P and Q. So we're going all the way over here and here. In order for the conjunction to be true, they both must be true. So we have true and true. That's good, that's true. True and false is no good. False and true is not good for a condition. Uh, conjunction, false and false, no good for a conjunction. So we would have true, false, false, false. Then to finish this off, our entire thing, the entire statement put together, so we're looking at this is now the hypothesis. So I'm going to get rid of this because this is no longer under consideration. So here's our hypothesis, here is our conclusion. And again, we're looking for a, either a false hypothesis or a true conclusion or both. So we have true, true, the conditional statement is true. True implies false, that's no good, that's a false. True implies false, also a false. False implies anything is a true conditional. And this would be our truth table. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, why don't you pause the video and try to create a truth table for this particular statement. Hopefully first you decided that you needed four rows, and how many columns do we need? We need P, we need Q, we need not Q, we need P implying Q, and we need the disjunction for the whole thing. So we need five columns. And just to review everything here, so remember what makes this true? What makes this true is the hypothesis is false, or the conclusion is true. 
This is a disjunction. The disjunction is true when one or both statements are true. So I'm going to say at least one true. And this is a negation, so this is true when Q is false. So true when Q false. Okay, so here's my five columns. As I predicted I would need, I have PQ, then I need my negation, not Q. Then I need P, if not if P, then Q, and then the whole thing. So we have if P, then Q, or not Q. So the negation for Q will be false, true, false, true. If P, then Q, so here I have a true implying a true. Since the conclusion is true, the conditional is true. Here I have true implying false, that's no good, that's our false for the conditional statement. Here I have an if false, that's true, and here I have an if false, that's true. So the conditional will only be false when a true hypothesis leads to a false conclusion. And now putting this whole thing together, so we have our the first part here, so this is part one, and this is part two, so those are the two columns that we're looking at for this final column. We have false or true, that is true. True or false implies true. I, I am reading these backwards, I apologize. I'll, I'll do better. Okay, here we have true or false is true. True or true is true. And this would be the truth table, and it looks pretty cool because the final column is all trues. There's actually a special name for that. It's called a tautology. So a tautology is a statement that is always true for any truth values of the simple statements, right? It didn't matter whether P was true or false, and it didn't matter whether Q was true or false. We always ended up with a true final statement. So that's pretty cool. That's called a tautology when that happens, when that final column is all trues. So now we're going to show that this particular statement is a tautology by constructing a truth table. Now I've basically already told you the answer. So <laughs> hypothetically, you should know that the last column should be all trues. But the thing is, you have to fill in the rest of it. So go ahead, pause the video, create the truth table here, make sure you end up with all trues. Did you get all trues? Is it because you guessed? I hope not. Let's see. We need four rows because we have two simple statements. We need P, column for P, a column for Q. We need negations of each. Oh boy, we have a lot going on here. We have a, a disjunction. Then we have a conjunction, then we need the negation of the conjunction, then we need the whole statement. So it's looking like we need eight uh, columns. So here's my eight columns. I'm going to fill this in. I need not P, not Q, then not P or not Q, then I need P and Q, and then I need the negation of that, and then we can put the whole thing together. So we have not P or not Q, then not P and Q. All right. And hypothetically, again, we should know what that last column is, but let's fill it in. So not P is going to have the opposite truth value from P, so it's going to be false, false, true, true. Not Q will be false, true, false, true. Not P or not Q. So in order for this to be true, we need one or both to be true. One or both true. So we have false or false, well that's no good, that's false. False or true, that's good, true. True or false is true, true or true is true. P and Q, in order for P and Q to be true, we need both to be true. So looking back at P and Q, we have true and true, that's good, that's true. True and false, no good, that's false. False and true is false, false and false is false. Now what we're doing here is we're just taking this column and negating it, right? That's all that means. It looks really scary, but it's, we're just looking at this column here and negating it. So that it would be false, true, true, true. And now what do we have? We have not P or not Q. So I'm going to erase my notes here. And we're looking here. So this is our, our kind of like the, the P of the if P then Q. And we're looking at this here. So we have if false, that because it's a conditional, that's true. Then we have a true leading to a true, that's true. A true leading to a true is good. True leading to true is good. So we verified that this is in fact a tautology. This has been a video on conditionals, truth tables, and tautologies. Thank you for stopping by.